Very good day everyone, I'm Brian Mackey, Product Manager for SolarWinds RMM and here's a quick summary of all the feature releases we've put out in the month of June. So of course let's start with the two brand new technician focused workflows. We have the new Unmonitor Devices view that shows you all the devices across the networks you manage that are not yet under management, don't yet have an agent installed or uh, in the case of network devices aren't yet under management. And we have the new active issues view, which similar in concept shows you all the failing checks across your clients and all their devices, really for the first time in a consolidated workflow, allowing you better oversight, easier management and drill down options across your clients, across the sites and the devices that you manage. So we're really excited about these two great enhancements. We also thank you very much for all the feedback that you've been sharing with us and please continue to do so. So you can go to the little uh, beta icon or send feedback button top right on the screen. Give us a rating and send us your feedback. We've already been able to address a couple of issues and we're now looking at the next set of enhancements based on the feedback that you're sharing. So thank you very much indeed. Okay, the other enhancement is to uh, feature policy permissions. It is now possible for you to give restricted or focused access to a set of managed antivirus policies to a particular user. So they only see those managed antivirus policies and no other policies. So this can help you if you're working with a end client, if you have a co-managed IT setup and you want to give your customer more control, more ability to manage their own affairs. You can now do that with managed antivirus policies. We're already working on web protection policies and then we'll do take control and uh, patch management as well. So all in progress. Okay, the other very exciting news of course is uh, the brand new Linux agent went GA and who better to tell you about Linux and everything Linux than my colleague Brian Best. Or so he likes to think anyway. Brian, over to you. Hey Brian, well, I don't know about all that, but you know what is best is having a great Linux agent inside your RMM, and that's what you got with Linux 2.0. Uh, we're really excited about this. Uh, the first thing we did is we made sure it worked with all of the Linux distributions. That's kind of a given, right? But uh, it's based on the Mac agent, so it's got a lot of that same functionality, including for the first time automated tasks, which means you can have that great automation workflow where a failing check triggers a task. We also built in monitoring templates, so you can actually make the perfect Linux server and clone that with a monitoring template to all your other Linux servers. And if you ever try to install our old Linux agent, you know it was kind of a chore. Now it's really easy. We put the installer packages right there in the agent menu, just like the Windows and Mac agents. But even better, you can use site installation packages to do the whole thing. And it'll, it'll figure out your distribution, it'll enroll it in your uh, perfect client and site. Uh, and with your credentials nice and secure. So absolutely give that a shot. We're not even close to done. We've got a lot of good stuff in store for this agent. We can't wait to share it with you. So I'll send it back to you, my uh, tastefully named brother. <laughs> Have a great one. That's awesome, really exciting. You are the best, really, aren't you? Okay, so that's our roundup for June. Go to the status blog as usual for all the release notes, screenshots, and more information and details around the releases we've put out. Thanks for watching. Take care and look forward to updating you again in a few weeks for all the July releases. Thanks.